So these are the bagpipes, and to be more specific, the Great Highland bagpipes. Um, there's a lot of different types of pipes in the world. Almost every region in Europe developed its own take on bagpipes. So these were what was developed in Scotland over centuries. One of the more recognizable pipes out there just because of their influence in the British Army. This is what you'll have seen in parades or at funerals and weddings are quite popular. And I'll give you a little overview of how they work. Basically, you have a blowpipe that you blow into the one-way valve at the end. So you fill up this bag as a reservoir and then you force the air out with this elbow and your whole aim is is to keep the stream as constant as possible and the pressure as constant as possible. When you're forcing the air out, you force them out through the other pipes. These pipes that are on my shoulder are called drones and they just produce that one long monotone uh, note that you hear throughout the melody. And the longer one is a bass drone, so that'll produce a B flat in this case for this instrument. And then the tenor drones will produce the same note, but an octave higher. Then the melody comes out of this pipe called the chanter. And there's a number of holes on there. And inside the casing here is what we call the reed. And it's a double bladed cane reed, uh, much the same as an oboe reed. It has two tongues of cane as, as the air passes through it, it vibrates and produces sound. And like any other woodwind, there's a bunch of holes on it. And the longer the sound has to travel down the pipe, the deeper the note, the lower the note is. So there's nine notes in the pipe scale. So it's a little limited in that sense. And it's also limited as an instrument because there's only one volume, fairly loud. And you can't, you can't get louder, you can't get quieter. It's just one volume all the time. So to introduce dynamics into the music, we use a lot of gracing and ornamentation and also to separate notes because you can't stop the melody. Once you're started, it's always playing melody. So to separate the notes, you use a lot of those gracings. And that gracing and ornamentation is something that really identifies pipe music. And that ornamentation, you still see it in the fiddle music and the, the music we know around here and in Scotland. It's informed a lot of the stylings that we use and the ornamentation that we use on the fiddle or any in instrument. I'm Roz. And I'm Jen. I'm Super Duper Soup. We began about five years ago. It started when one friend asked me to make a bowl of soup. We were both laid off. And the next week, more friends asked for more soup. And the next thing we know, bing bang boom, we're working out of the Boys and Girls Club kitchen once a week doing deliveries. Did a trade show and it, it just went crazy from there. So we were like, we need to find our own space. We're a small business and when you start a small business, not really ever having been in this industry before, we had no idea yeah. what was involved. You don't know what you don't know. <laughs> Dealing with the East Coast Credit Union, it's just been so easy. They're more than a bank. It's not every bank that knows your name. It's not every bank that comes and helps and brings you products that you didn't even know existed. Yeah, they know more than just our business. They know us and they know what we need. They're just a part of our team and they're there to help you. They want you to succeed. They have a small business program and they get what small business is in Nova Scotia. Community means everything. 
we feel very supported by not only the East Coast Credit Union, but our community in downtown Dartmouth as well. Building the relationship with East Coast Credit Union, I just know that going forward, they'll still be there for us. They'll continue to support us, not only as customers, but bringing us new products that will help us grow and continue to survive. Bain Babu, a brand new university learning experience in the heart of Mabu. The Gaelic Foundations program is a first year university learning experience in partnership with Cape Breton University. Immerse yourself in community, delve into a rich and living culture, and learn about the world through the viewpoint of the Gales as you begin your next learning journey. Classes begin September of 2023. Bain Babu, we welcome you to an educational experience like no other. For more information, click your way over to benvabu.ca. How's everyone doing tonight? We are thrilled to have you with us. We're back with our Kayleys in person and we're also online. So hello there, everyone out there watching online. Welcome to the Gaelic College and to the Wednesday Night Kaylee. It's Misha Callan. My name is Colin McDonald, and I'll be your host for tonight. And we have three wonderful guests with us tonight. We have Shelley Campbell, Alan Dewar, and Buddy McDonald. So you're in for a treat. If you haven't uh, found Gail at the back yet, uh, Gail has all sorts of refreshments back there. And washrooms can be found uh, at the back of the hall in, in the foyer. As well. We're going to start off with a Gaelic song and uh, I'm going to give, uh, give this one a try. Uh, Mali Gown. Uh, so Mali Gown is uh, the brown Mali, which was the name of uh, a ship. And uh, there's, this is a very popular Gaelic song and you'll hear it sung at the, the milling table as well. Uh, I'm going to try to sing uh, the rec from the recording uh, of Schalken, who was one of the uh, North Shore Gaelic singers. So we'll give her a go, see how it goes. If you happen to know the, the chorus, feel free to join in. <clears throat> Mali gown, boy of gown, Mali gown, he the gaff, he crook a hawk, a hold thine, ye the queen, jean or tyking, good a misha hack a jean, cool machine, and a left and vanny ride, brought up gather in the cook a mark of Mali gown, boy of gown, Mali gown. Eli gaff he grew a gaha, gaffle down, ye the queen, jean or tyking. Good a misha hack and spare, shunned an agent's assassin, vavi rire, mest and charge, coyen or air the karstian, mally gown, boy of gown, mally gown. Eli gaff he grew a gaha, a hold down. Eric Bean, Jean or Tyking. Sound she and Chimic go to a lead, Simic and a coa was a gleck, Mo Valley, Chip of Bush, Gavin, Coan, Sound by Fasten, Mally Gown, Boy of Gown, Mally Gown. 
Thank you. Gleva. <laughs> so we're going to kick off with some tunes first and welcome Shelly Campbell and Alan Dewar to the stage. Please make them feel welcome. <laughs> Thank you. 
everybody. Nice to see a nice little crowd out tonight. Welcome back to having the in-person Kayleys. Isn't it nice to get through at least the worst of the winter? Minus the dump we got last week. Hopefully we don't get another one this weekend. But anyway, great to have everybody here. Um, maybe I'll just tell you a little bit about those tunes if I know anything about them. The first one um, was composed by a piper by the name of Shani McIntyre from Scotland, I think. Or at least he gave it to me. I'm pretty sure he composed it. He was over here teaching at the college last year. Great, great piper from South Uist. And uh, then I went into a couple of tunes that I learned from a playing of Alan and Jerry Holland playing at the Shoe many moons ago. And I don't know the names. I want to say one is a Paul Cranford composition. And then I went into Swinging on Home, which is an oldie. And uh, then the chorus jig, which is older than the oldie. <laughs> it's as old as they come. It's rather the Sky Collections. So speaking of all these, I just need to get maybe into a march to get myself smoothed out here. So maybe I'll play an eight-parter. Can you handle an eight-part march this early? Yeah? <laughs> I'm going to play Johnny Cope. It's an, a favorite of a lot of the crew that I hang out with, so I'll play that. And if you know it, you can jig along with it. How about that?
Thanks, everybody. I think it might be time for Buddy, is it? Is it time for Buddy? I don't know. I don't know how long it was. Here comes Buddy. This is a, Colin will introduce him, but I hope Colin remembers to mention his very special award that he's getting. Do you know about this award? Yes. Getting dark again and again and again. He's uh, getting the Cape Breton Music Industry first song inductee into the Music Industry Hall of Fame, or whatever they're calling it. Is that what it is? I have no idea. He, he said his ego was so big he surprised he talked to me when I got here today. <laughs> anyway, Colin will come up and further the introduction. Sorry, it was a hot. That's all right. Oh, you're a Let's hear it for Shelly and Alan. And for the moment, I actually don't have much more to say than that. That was a wonderful introduction, Shelly. And uh, yes, a big congratulations to Buddy McDonald. You're in for a treat. Here he is. Pressure is on. How's everybody doing? Pretty good? Good, yeah. It's nice to be back after the, uh, after the winter months. I'm pretending winter is over. We live in a place in Bulletry where we call it the snow belt. There's about a mile of highway between our place and Dalem Lake. It could be sunny on either side with no snow, and we have two feet of snow. And I don't enjoy that part of it, really. Anyway, uh, Shelley and Alan, great set, great tunes. Hey. Here's a song uh, called Play It Again. I wrote this song after uh, everybody in this, not only this business, I suppose, but any business, when you do it for a lot of years and you realize, oh man, I've come home so many times to say, okay, that's it. Uh, I'm cashing this in, you know, I'm not doing this anymore. And then I realize that uh, I can't do anything else. <laughs> so I stick at it. And this tune is called Play It Again. Four strings again. I played with the fiddlers from sundown till dawn. Played till the dancers last call. I've sung with all the singers till it got dark. Oh, 
Jerry Holland were part of the entertainment and we drove up and drove back that night after drinking like 45 gallon drum of coffee and uh, Jerry seen how fast he could drive <laughs> there's not much traffic on the road tonight <laughs> it's because we all burnt it off the highway anyway I had sung that song and never thought anything of those people sort of doing the round dance to it and uh, somewhere between Antigonish and Causeway at three or four or five or something in the morning, we were passing a line of cars, just like wide open as Cherry would drive it. Just cruising along and take a big drink of coffee. Oh, geez, he said that was a dandy song. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea what he was talking about, but it was that song. So it, uh, it passed the test, believe me. No change in the weather, no change in me. You don't want to leave, but you can't live for free. No change in the weather, no change in me. You don't want to leave, but you can't live for free. For you can't eat the air, and you can't drink the sea. There's no change in the weather. There's no change in me. You can shoot off a cannon down the middle of Bond and attract no attention in downtown St. John's. For this getting nowhere, well, it's getting to me. Wondering where can I go to be all I can be. There's no regular Joe Wants to pack up and go To wind up so homesick With no one you know Just a smoke and a beer And the sports on TV Wondering where can I go To be all I can be No change in the weather There's no change in me You don't want For oh, you can't eat the air And you can't drink the sea There's no change in the weather There's no change in me You can shoot off a cannon from on top of Long Hill But a Gulliver's taxi might be all you would kill We 
were promised the moon and the sun and the stars. We had broken down clouds, saw trust the cars. But me joined in the leaving with all of the rest. Montreal, Calgary, and Vancouver, West. Just lay down on the sidewalk and pretend to die. Watch all the strange people as they hurry by. There's no change in the weather, no change in me. You don't want to leave, but you can't live for free. For you can't eat the air, and you can't drink the sea. There's no change in the weather, there's no change. No change in the weather, no change in me. You don't want to leave, but you can't live for free. Or you can't eat the air, you can't drink the sea. There's no change in the weather, there's no change in me. There's no change in the weather, there's no Thanks so much. Hello to all people out in uh, cyberspace. We are on live, are we? Yeah. Live to the world. Uh, live as can be. <laughs> Freshly alive. <laughs> so is everybody all ready for summer? <laughs> no, seriously, are you all ready for summer? <laughs> The only person who doesn't want to see spring here is Alan Dora because he can do snowmobile. <laughs> Smart. I'm going to do a, a song that I wrote in Scotland actually. And it's called Feel the Air. I wrote this in the Dunkeld Cathedral in a little place called Dunkeld, Scotland. Population 42. Maybe a few more of it. And uh, a friend of mine ran a festival over there for a bunch of years, still doing it actually. And uh, I've been, I was very lucky to take part in it for, I think, eight or nine years running until COVID hit. And uh, we did a show the second year I was over, the very first after we had landed like that afternoon sometime. And went to have a sleep. And uh, anyway, next morning at breakfast, woke up and Dougie McLean came over and he said, oh, I forgot to tell you, we're doing a show tonight at the uh, Dunkeld Cathedral. Oh, I said, good. What does that mean? He said, it means we're playing in 700-year-old cathedral. But he said, we're playing in the new part. It's only 600 years old. I think they had a grant for the old part. Anyway, we did a sound check. It was a great show. It was a, lot, it was a pretty magical night. And uh, anyway, we did a sound check in the late afternoon, and some of the ladies of the area came around and they had sandwiches and coffee and tea, and it was really nice. So I was sort of came up on the altar behind, found a place to sit, and as I was sitting there enjoying my egg sandwich and coffee, the uh, parish priest. An older gentleman, I saw him coming, like running at me, as opposed to to me. And I said, oh, you can't sit there. He said, I said, oh, I'm sorry. I thought I had left my guitar stuff in the way or whatever. I said, I'm, I'm just going to be here for a minute, you know. I'll, I'll make sure it's cleared up. No, 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 you can't sit there. You're sitting on Father John. I was sitting on a tomb, you see. <laughs> and it was... Uh, I didn't know, but 
Father John never said a word to me. <laughs> anyway, I wrote a song sitting on Father John. I wrote this tune called Feel the Air. of ancient gold In silence stopped and pondered on the stories left untold I wonder where their times come where their journeys end But I just closed my eyes fell the air has given me orders that I'm going to have to cut back to a hundred nights a year. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, I had I, the, the last CD actually, Feel the Air, I did, uh, I decided to record a couple of songs of heroes of mine, and uh, this is one of the Paxson's tune called The Last Thing on My Mind. 
if you know it, please sing it out. It's a lesson too late for the learner. They decide, they decide. In the wake of the night, my soul is turning in your hand. here once again for Buddy McDonald. So I thought it might be a good ask, or a good time to ask uh, where everybody is from. I think we can pretty much, we actually have a, a, a very nice crowd here tonight, just in case those on, online are, are wondering. Uh, first Kaylee back in person as well, so very exciting and we're heading forward um, into the spring and summer. Uh, so I'm going to go around and the question is, uh, where are you from? But you don't have to answer in Gaelic. So <laughs> we'll ask the first table, where are you from? Just over here. Say names. Say names. 
Whereabouts in St. Anne's? Tarbit. Tarbit? Natua. Look at that. North River. And what about this table? St. Anne's. St. Anne's as well? Yeah. Great. Ballinagal. Ballinagal, English town. Good stuff. And uh, we'll go down on the on the right here, or my right. Belgium. Belgium. Wow. So everybody's everybody was local at the beginning, and then boom, Belgium. Well, that's awesome. How long are you here for? Uh, two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. That's awesome. Thalcha, welcome. We hope that you enjoy your time here. And thanks for coming out tonight. Thanks. And on this side here, we'll go down a little further. Bedeck. Great. Down, Bedeck. down, Mabel. We we'll go from, Be from Bedeck to Belgium. That's it. And what about at the, the back there? The two tables at the back. More from Bedeck, maybe? Bedeck Bay. <laughs> Great. And yourselves at the far back? Meadow Road. Meadow Road. Road. My neighbor. <laughs> and uh, just so I don't forget, this is a perfect time to thank Gail for keeping us refreshed this evening. Let's give her a big round of applause. And thank you all for, for coming. Whether you came from St. Anne's, Bedeck, or Belgium, <laughs> you, are, uh, you are very welcome here. Um, I also thought it might be a good time in the evening, uh, before we get back to the music, to share a little Gaelic story with you. And uh, this one, uh, there's actually many stories about this individual uh, who has since passed but uh, he went by Hector Doink. Some of you might be familiar with him. Some of you may have heard this story before, uh, but currently this is my four-year-old daughter's uh, favorite Hector Doink story. And there's only so many Hector Doink stories I can tell my four-year-old daughter. Um, a lot of them uh, I can't. So anyway, I'll, I'll give uh, a little bit of this uh, story in Gaelic and I'll translate in English. And it's fairly short, so um, it, it shouldn't take too long. Uh, but just uh, to mention a little bit more about Hector Doink. Uh, Doink actually comes from the Gaelic Doinken, uh, which uh, was Danny in English, um, or Dan. So that was the name of their father, Doinken. So that's how they got the handle Doink. So any of, any of uh, Doinkin's children and, and that family were known, known as the Doinks, which is unfortunate, but it also kind of uh, worked out well uh, because Hector Doink had a really good sense of humor. He was known as a character and there are all kinds of stories about him and stories that uh, he would tell. So anyways, this is, uh, this is one of those stories. Well, that show that Echen Doink and Gesebrahesh Neil Doink er Sprivor. One day, Hector Doink and his brother Neil Doink were on the spree. Does everybody know what that means? You can guess. You can guess. I guess Kurat Rampa can gotcha get Mok er Ferdi in a Horsnich. And they decided one evening that they were going to steal a pig from one of the neighbors. Gutchet avok agis kuret kurok spiakuren agis kalta ervuich agis kuret etere sakari. So they went ahead and they stole the pig and they disguised the pig. They put a hat, uh, glasses, and a coat on the pig and sat it in between them in the car. The Galovet piece back she is a rad, I guess, couldn't get the mounty such in Asinjewi. So they drove a little piece down the road, and didn't they see the mounties were coming after them? I guess, could it start, daughter? And they put a stop, they stopped them. Going off the heat mounty, 
Koshivsha. So the first Mountie, I think he had a flashlight, if I remember. Maybe I made that up. <laughs> you can correct me online. Uh, so, Kainach Ahiat Mountie, Koshivsha, the first Mountie, asked, Who are you? Hector Doink said, Ismisha Echen Doink, show Movrahert Neil Doink. So I'm Hector Doink, this is my brother Neil Doink. And uh, then he, he asked, kind of in a snide way, I guess, Ko Feira Hasabian, and who's the one in the middle? And Hector said, just like that, oh, Shin Oink Doink. <laughs> oh, that's Oink Doink. <laughs> And that's the punchline. <laughs> so Hector was very clever, and uh, he always had had the last the last word. So I think uh, maybe I'll share another Gaelic song with you uh, before we get uh, get uh, some more tunes on the go. Um, this is. Uh, one that I, I enjoy singing. I realize that uh, a lot of my songs are happen to be milling songs, uh, which uh, doesn't work out so great for when you're, you're singing solo, because milling songs is all about everybody joining in on the chorus. Uh, but uh, this one isn't uh, quite as difficult as the first one, so we'll give her a go. It's Kharekin Heen Mokhrenyak Gael, and I will not desert my brown-haired maiden. And if you've come to one or two Kayleys already, I'm sure you've heard, uh, heard this one, but uh, uh, it's, a, it's a good one, and uh, one that I enjoy singing. <clears throat> You are o hari aro hari king he mountain yak down. You are o hari aro kim again this me be soon the fag is cool. O cranyak room me you are o hari aro hari king he mountain yak down. You are o hari aro kim again this me be soon the fag is cool. O cranyak room me you are o hari. Yaro hari king he pranyak gown you are oh hari yaro sound of hoodie he am a girl brahilic a crib a do yak and you are oh hari yaro hari king he ma pranyak gown you are oh hari yaro sket the pine air crop loom he girt gown and chili to your groom you are oh hari yaro hari king you are oh, Hari, 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 King Sam, O Krenyak, the walks on until Sakuna me. You are oh, Hari, 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 King Him, O Krenyak, you are oh, Hari, 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 King Sam, O Hit, then all your back, a cloak is put off he. You are oh, Hari, 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 King Him, O Krenyak, you are oh, Hari, Hari, Mashe, Pacher, Vau, Giri, O, Kiel, Nusarin, Shin. You are oh, Hari, 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 King Him, O Krenyak, you are oh, Hari, 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 King Him, O Krenyak, you are oh, Hari, Hari. Thank you very much. So we um, are going to invite uh, Shelley and Hallen back up to the stage now for some more tunes. We hope that you're enjoying yourselves. Uh, we have uh, some more great music to go, and we'll hear some more for, from Buddy in a little bit. So once again, well, welcome back, Shelley and Alan. I did some of the Hector Doink stories with the kids at school and the school teacher. 
because they love them. So I had a play-by-play -play of the like pictures that match the story. She's trying to keep Buddy and Alan on track, following along over there. <laughs> there's some great, great stories. And then there's a picture I have on there. Uh, I don't know where I got a few pictures of them. There's not many pictures around, but anyway, there's one of them holding a chicken, pretending he's playing the bagpipes with it. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> I was just talking to this gentleman over here and he said, are you from Bernor? And I said, oh, it's the other Shelley Campbell. We've talked about, I've had this happen before. There's a Shelley Campbell from down Sydney Way who's a great singer. And I remember uh, I finally got to meet her one time at the Lewisburg Playhouse. And she was like, people have been showing up to my gigs expecting fiddles. So she goes, I go by my maiden name now. I think it's her maiden name she goes by. So I will not be singing <coughs> any songs tonight.
everybody. We're getting into dance season. The first few places are stuff that are dances that go summer, I guess around the summertime are starting to book some gigs, which is really always great to see. I know if you're into the dances, there's a dance in West Mabu coming up. They've been just doing one or two, uh, one a month or one every two months throughout the winter season, but it's nice to see them moving along. So I think there's one on Sun Saturday night, the Saturday, Easter Saturday. And uh, there's been a few dances going on in Waikago and Glendale lately, if you're into the dances. And I hear Bedeck is going to try and maybe get some dances going. Well, that's nice and local. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Are they happening yet? I haven't heard. Okay. I don't know. Planning. Yeah, there's some planning yeah, for them, which is talking. great. And uh, actually, who mentioned the Halifax Cape Breton Club? Who was it? Who was it? Was it you or Buddy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're having a dance. They haven't had one since oh. COVID, so that's really great to see those dances going. So, I'm just going to, I don't know, do what here. Um, maybe I won't chicken out. I was going to chicken out, maybe, but I won't chicken out. Um, I'm going to stay in the key of A because that's what's comfy tonight. And uh, I'm going to play a couple of tunes, or try them anyway. Um, that uh, I was thinking when Buddy was singing your song, now I'm going to forget the line, Buddy. I carry the music as best I can. Is that right? Yeah. I was thinking of a couple of people. On my way down, I was thinking, what can I play that's kind of new that I've learned lately? And that could be a scary thing to do, play something new. But anyway, when you sang that song, I said, well, I'll have to do it. So we had a number of people this winter that are very connected to the music scene pass away. And while that's always very sad, I just remember them as being so fun-loving of the music. So in this little group of tunes, I'm going to play a tune composed by Jean McNeil, Mother to the Barris. Um, and I'll play a Strass Bay that was made by John Campbell for Doug McPhee, another great piano player that passed away just this past winter. And uh, I'll try and stick in Father Francis Cameron's reel. And Father Francis just passed away. Now, that's all very sad that they're gone. But they were such fun-loving people and really loved the music and did carry it on super well. And um, just a quick little aside here, Alan and I went down to visit Father, Jan uh, Father Francis and Janet, his sister, in Boysdale, oh, a number of years ago. Probably the best afternoon of <laughs> shenanigans and tunes we had, ever had. Father Francis was so full of life and he would just, in the middle of everything, all of a sudden behind the door, he had a full sheet of plywood that he plumped down on the floor and it was signed by anybody who visited the house. And he just started giving her hell, showing his steps, and then hop back to the fiddle. And then back to the piece of, uh, what is it, plywood on the floor. So anyway, I'll see if I can get through these and we'll send it out to the big Kaylee in heaven because I'm sure they're having a good time.
Well, that was a lot of fun. Awesome tunes. Thanks a lot for having me. <laughs> we're going to uh, get ready to wrap up the evening, and we're going to do it in true Kaylee fashion by inviting Buddy McDonald back up to join us. And um, I don't think I have too many announcements other than just thank you all once again for, for coming out tonight. And great to see lots of, uh, lots of you here, uh, local and, uh, and from far away. And hope to see you again soon. Uh, we don't have a list of uh, performers for next week's Kaylee, but that will be coming out uh, shortly, so stay tuned. Uh, that'll be announced on Facebook. Uh, momentarily. Uh, big thanks to Michael on sound and Ryan on live stream. And a big thanks to Kenny McCaskill for all of his support week after week. Great to see you. Smile or thank you. All right, thanks everyone. I'll hand the mic over to, to Buddy. Sorry, what was that, Kenny? He's very happy to, to be here. I play Hollywood. I should not matter. Have you moved in? <laughs> Back in the bus. First day with new hands. Train <laughs> <laughs> and let her go. <laughs> what do you do? I have no idea. <laughs> Well, yeah, thanks on, on behalf of me anyway. Thank you for coming out and it's, uh, it's great to see you turn out like this on the very, the very first night with the Kaylee's back. I was gonna say the very first Tuesday of the week or Wednesday of the week, sorry. It's funny how things remind you of, here I go, I'm rambling, shall I? He's a rambling man. <laughs> uh, first of all, when you were asking people where they were from, and oh, yeah, we've been to Memphis, from Galway to Graceland. Uh, yeah, and you were you were going down and we're seeing St. Anne's, North River, and Bedeck, and then uh, Belgium. And it just it sort of struck me so funny. I was standing outside and I was like, Belgium. And it reminded me of the time, I think it was 1992, or 93 or something, where John Ferguson and I were touring and playing a lot across the country then. And uh, we were invited to play on the roof of the Canadian Embassy in Washington. Of course we were. The hottest place I've ever been so far. <laughs> and uh, anyway, the night before, we had a flight out early in the morning. Mike Danny was picking us up. And uh, but anyway, the night before, we played in the little community hall in Washabuck. And John and I were going to get t-shirts made up, and they never came through in time. And it was Buddy McDonald and John Ferguson world tour, Washabuck to Washington. <laughs> <laughs> and anyway, we never got them made. Anyway, uh, let's do Getting Dark Again. Some song Shelley and I wrote. Okay, dude. Key of A. The Canadian Key. <laughs> they were great tunes. Oh man, yeah. Gene's tune is great, eh? Yeah. Lots of memories there, indeed. Piper in the corner, there's a dancer on the floor, brick upon the table, they're calling out for more. There's Gaelic in the fiddle, Gaelic in the glen. A song's to come to me, boy, it's getting, if you don't sing it, it's getting dark again, getting dark again. For the second time since we got up, it's getting dark again. Said yesterday when friends and fiddles gathered and friends and fiddles played, those lots of those were good times. Do you remember?
remember when But that was chasing reels ago It's getting dark again Mabu, a brand new university learning experience in the heart of Mabu. The Gaelic Foundations program is a first year university learning experience in partnership with Cape Breton University. Immerse yourself in community, delve into a rich and living culture, and learn about the world through the viewpoint of the Gales as you begin your next learning journey. Classes begin September of 2023. Bain Vabu. We welcome you to an educational experience like no other. For more information, click your way over to benbabu.ca. So these are the bagpipes, and to be more specific, the Great Highland bagpipes. Um, there's a lot of different types of pipes in the world. Almost every region in Europe developed its own take on bagpipes. So these were what was developed in Scotland over centuries. One of the more recognizable pipes out there just because of their influence in the British army. This is what you'll have seen in parades or at funerals and weddings are quite popular. And I'll give you a little overview of how they work. Basically, you have a blow pipe that you blow into the one way valve at the end. So you fill up this bag as a reservoir and then you force the air out with this elbow and your whole aim is to keep the stream as constant as possible and the pressure as constant as possible. When you're forcing the air out, you force them out through the other pipes. These pipes that are on my shoulder are called drones and they just produce that one long monotone uh, note that you hear throughout the melody. And the longer one is a bass drone, so that'll produce a B flat in this case for this instrument. And then the tenor drones will produce the same note, but an octave higher. Then the melody comes out of this pipe called the chanter. And there's a number of holes on there. And inside the casing here is what we call the reed. And it's a double bladed cane reed, uh, much the same as an oboe reed. It has two tongues of cane as, as the air passes through it. It vibrates and produces sound. And like any other woodwind, 
There's a bunch of holes on it, and the longer the sound has to travel down the pipe, the deeper the note, the lower the note is. So there's nine notes in the pipe scale, so it's a little limited in that sense, and it's also limited as an instrument because there's only one volume, fairly loud, and you can't you can't get louder, you can't get quieter. It's just one volume all the time. So to introduce dynamics into the music, we use a lot of gracing and ornamentation and also to separate notes because you can't stop the melody. Once you're started, it's always playing melody. So to separate the notes, you use a lot of those gracings. And that gracing and ornamentation is something that really identifies pipe music. And that ornamentation, you still see it in the fiddle music and the, the music we know around here and in Scotland. It's informed a lot of the stylings that we use and the ornamentation that we use on the fiddle or any in instrument. I'm Roz. And I'm Jen. I'm Super Duper Soup. We began about five years ago. It started when one friend asked me to make a bowl of soup. We were both laid off. And the next week, more friends asked for more soup. And the next thing we know, bing bang boom, we're working out of the Boys and Girls Club kitchen once a week doing deliveries. Did a trade show and it, it just went crazy from there. So we were like, we need to find our own space. We're a small business and when you start a small business, not really ever having been in this industry before, we had no idea yeah. what was involved. You don't know what you don't know. <laughs> Dealing with the East Coast Credit Union, it's just been so easy. They're more than a bank. It's not every bank that knows your name. It's not every bank that comes and helps and brings you products that you didn't even know existed. Yeah, they know more than just our business. They know us and they know what we need. They're just a part of our team and they're there to help you. They want you to succeed. They have a small business program and they get what small business is in Nova Scotia. Community means everything. We feel very supported by not only the East Coast Credit Union, but our community in downtown Dartmouth as well. Building the relationship with East Coast Credit Union, I just know that going forward, they'll still be there for us. They'll continue to support us, not only as customers, but bringing us new products that will help us grow and continue to survive.